Today, I wanna to show you three simple steps that are guaranteed to save you money and make your bike run smoother. It doesn't matter if you ride road bikes, gravel bikes, or mountain bikes, these techniques apply to all. I suggest running through these twice a year. I find spring and fall to be the ideal times to set us up for the upcoming season. Shout out to Competitive Cyclist for sponsoring this week's video. The first thing we'll check is the chain. These can happen in any order. Chains wear out over time, and a worn out chain will wreak havoc on your gears, causing them to skip and wearing out your drivetrain prematurely. How do you check your chain? And of course, there's a tool for that. It's called a chain checker. It's an affordable, easy to use tool that allows you to tell when it's time to replace your chain. Replacement chains are categorized by how many gears you have on your rear cassette. It's generally a good practice to use the same brand chain as your cassette. You're also going to need a chain breaker, and this master link tool is pretty helpful. When I replace a chain, I like to take the old chain and lay it next to the new chain, so then I know how long the new chain needs to be. Remember, the old chain will be slightly longer or stretched out compared to the new chain. This simple step will save you hundreds of dollars in the long run and keep your bike running smoothly. Have you ever seen that movie Titanic? Step number two, check your brake pads. This one's easy to overlook as we don't actually see the pads very often. The best way to see if these need replacing is to pull the brake pads out of the brake. Don't forget to take off that little pin first. You should replace your brake pads when there's around one to one and a half millimeters of pad left. A measuring caliper can be very helpful for this. Plus you'll use it for measuring things like seat posts and handlebars. You'll use it more than you think. And the DIY version to see if your pads are too worn down is to see how close the pads are to the springs. If it looks like they're about to touch, replace your pads. Okay, a couple tips here. When you order new brake pads, just look at the kind of brakes that you have. And when you order the pads, you have to order two because they don't come in a set. Which is the dumbest, why the hell? With chains and brake pads, it's always the best practice to have them on hand when you need them. You don't want to be ordering them when you know that your brakes are burnt out. A good rule of thumb is right after you replace it, buy your next replacement set so you have it when you need it. You're not trying to order them, wait a week or a pandemic year for the brake pads to come and you just want to ride your bike and you're stuck without any... <sighs> the third and final step is to top off your sealant. Another out of sight, out of mind task. This should be done every six months. Usually just topping off with a couple ounces of fluid is more than enough. But make sure you stick with the same brand. Mixing brands can turn your sealant obsolete. Which, did, anybody, did you, if your bike's been sitting for a real long time or you wanna be super thorough, you can crack the bead on one side of your tire to investigate. Take out any dry chunks and pour out anything that looks like it shouldn't be in there. Do we need to do that? I put links to all the tools I use down below. Shout out to Competitive Cyclist for sponsoring this week's video. Use offer code DUSTIN15 for 15% off your first order to competitivecyclist.com. I mean, use that code and get some new brake pads and chains because no one wants to buy those. Fucking lights in the way. And if you're confused about compatibility or what to get, Seriously, use the gearheads of Competitive. They're awesome. They know all kinds of weird things like this. How do you think I figured out what pads I needed? Now we got all that pesky maintenance done. Let's go for a ride. Oh, that's, that's a fun one. I'm stoked for you to use these skills. Honestly, I just hope that they help.